that ye should be married to another, even to him who is raised from the dead, that we should bring forth fruit unto Yahweh Shem Yahashai. All right, so so by uh, Yahushai dying, okay, that's basically that's basically us realizing that we had a husband, right? Coming back, okay. That's that's us being uh, 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 married, man. That's us. That's us coming into our understanding. That's that wedding taking place, man. We are like a reformed home. That's beautiful. That's what we always wanted, man. We, all, we always wanted that to be seen in a clean light. You know, uh, Jake. Jake just want to be the man, all right? Yeah. You know, you want to be the man on the left hand side. No, you want to be the man on the right hand side, man. That's what you need to be going for. You need to be going for righteousness, salvation, man. Okay? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, it's, it's plenty of time. It's plenty of time, man. How long it's been? Oh, it's only, oh. Oh, man. You know? Which the spirit is still on me to bring this word out. Alright? And it reads. Uh, Salakia, verse 5. For when we were in the flesh, the motions of sins, which were by the law, did work in our members to bring forth fruit unto death. Yeah, man. It's doing all sorts of shit. All sorts of shit. Man. All sorts of abominable acts. This flesh is horrible, man. You smoke, you sitting there smoking a blunt while you committing adultery, man. Hey, it's adding sin upon sin, man. And that, hey, man, especially, you know, in my day, you know, especially being in, in high school, that was like one way that you got a chick, you know what I mean, to, to, to come over. You go over to, you know, to where the chick is at. Okay, you want to smoke, you know, uh, she may have had a boyfriend or somebody that she already laid with. Well, you didn't give a fuck, you know. Which my spirit was never really to get with a woman. If I if I knew she had a boyfriend, I, I didn't really. That wasn't really my thing, you know. Yet for the most part in school, all these women were sleeping around. So in essence, you would take a part in adultery and you didn't even know it. Okay. And it reads. But now we are delivered from the law that being dead wherein we were held, that we should serve in newness of spirit and not in the oldness of the letter. All right? So our Lord coming, our Lord coming on the scene, man, you know, that, that saved us in a lot of ways because we should have been put to death. Shit, according, according, according to how things are supposed to go, yet the Lord has found grace. The Lord has, has found mercy upon his hope for the light, man. Hey, and Barakati Hawa, Barakati Hawa shot for that. So we, could been, we could have been through, we could have been done. Alright? Yet, Yahweh Ba Shemi Hawa shot. It is it's taken us, you know, a reformed hope. It has, it has washed us anew, man. Gave, given us clean clothes. Given us a roof over our head. Okay? And it's told us to keep this house up until his return, man. Alright? And it reads, all right? Then we gonna go to that upper room. Yes, sir, we are gonna go to that upper room, man. That upper room is gonna be glorious. It's gonna be glorious. And the upper room is when the kingdom of heaven is manifesting here on earth, man. Okay, and it reads. What shall we say then? Is the law sin? How about Shema Shai forbid? Nay, I had not known sin but by the law. Yeah, so if it wasn't for the law, we wouldn't know what sin is, man. Alright? And it says, For I had not known lust except the law had said, Thou shalt not covet. It says, But sin taking occasion by the commandment brought in me all manner of concupiscence. For without the law, sin was dead. Alright? Hey, man. <laughs> hey, 
sin, hey, sin, sin is not dead because the law ain't dead. So we, we, are, we, we are still, okay, sinning. We are still subject to sin, man. All right? It says, For without the law, sin was dead. For I was alive without the law once. All right? So Paul, okay, the Apostle Paul, like, you know, was, was, at one point, man, he, he was going up against the men. He heard this word, man. It was, it was, it was very active against him, putting men to death. And ironically became one of the key figure uh, stones in this building. Okay? It says, hey, man, he's here on the earth right now. We don't know who he is. Okay, but he's somebody, and whoever that somebody is, it's a child of Israel, man, a man of Israel, bringing the word out. It says, but when the commandment came, sin revived and I died. So he realized that he was sinning, man. All right, he died. He died inside, man. And we died when we found out, man, that we died. We died. Upon finding out who we are, and that old man was, was put, for some of us, it completely just died. Not for other brothers, you know, it may have been put on life support. You know, certain certain brothers, man, still kind of going the wrong path, you know, coming into this truth. You know, but as you get well established in this truth, oh, that old man dies, man. You And, then, and now it's just fighting that, fighting that old man from coming back, okay? You know, like the rappers say, you don't want me to go back to my old ways. You don't want Jake to go back to his old ways. Man. Some some of us were not we're not too uh, savory of characters, man. okay? And it reads, and the commandment which was ordained to life, I found to be unto death. Yeah, man. So at one point, you know, he thought that this that this book of life was a, was a was a book of death when it was taught by the prophets, you know? Because he heard men speaking about uh, uh, people dying. You know, he heard, he heard about men saying that, you know, a, a whole family was going to be uh, uh, put to death, you know, and these different things. So he thought that, that that was death. He thought that the men bringing out the word, they were prophets of death. No, man, we're prophets of life. We're trying to bring forth life, man. All right? And it reads... For sin, taking occasion by the commandment, deceived me, and by it slew me. Wherefore the law is holy, and the commandment holy, and just and good. So it's separate, it is just, and it is good, man. This, this word is righteous, this word is holy. This word, this word, man, this word transcends all time. All your opinion means nothing to this word, man. Okay, it says, with uh, Slaki. Was then that which is good made death unto me? How it forbid. But sin, that it might appear sin, working death in me by that which is good, that sin by the commandment might become exceeding sinful. So by us understanding what sin is, by continuing in that sin, okay, that's exceeding sinful. If you understand, okay, I'm not supposed to be doing these things. By you going ahead and you doing them, man, you are adding sin upon sin. Okay? Now these are some of these other people. You know, they know what sin is, obviously, but they, they may not know that, you know, it's a sin to eat crab, uh, shrimp, pork. You know this, that they may not know that it's a it's a sin, you know what I mean, to um uh, uh, uh you know to smoke or these other things, man. Because you grow up in certain households, you got parents, parents that they're okay with their child being a mo. They may be homeschooled, you know, sheltered. So shit, all their life, they growing up, they thinking it's okay. Then you come across one uh, uh, of the elders, you come across one of the brothers, and you learn, okay, that's wicked, right? Now most don't take heed, but some take heed, okay, yeah. You know, you go back to the house, hey, I saw these men, and they, they were saying that that's unrighteous, you know? They were saying that, that, that it's bad to be a mother. Especially you women, man, you so-called black women, you teach your sons, man, to be effeminate, okay? 
Hey, who is that taught by? That's taught by so-called white man. He saw Edom. Anyways, it reads, um, Salakia. It says, cold out here, man. And this ain't nothing compared to, you know, uh, uh, shit, Texas, Louisiana, going up more north, Oklahoma, North Dakota, going out to the east, man. You know, New York, Connecticut, Boston. Okay, and our apostle elders, man, have continued to bring this word out for decades, man. No matter if it was hot, raining, snowing, whatever the case is. They were out there, man. And they are out there. So, says, for we know that the law is spiritual, but I am carnal, sold under sin. So first off, this word starts off in your spirit, and then it manifests as something, uh, uh, something uh, physical, you know. It says, for that which I do, I allow not, for what I do, that do I not, flock you. This is the book of Romans, chapter 7, verse 15. For that which I do, I allow not, for what I would, that do I not. But what I hate, that do I. Yeah, man. So that just goes to show. You know, even Paul sinned. You know? But he hated sin. We have to hate sin. You can't be cool with sin or whatever, man. It's all good. No, man. You have to hate sin. That's why you That's why you have a hatred for Esau Edom. He, he, he is the embodiment of sin. Now, he can't sin because he can't go against the law. Because the law don't apply to him. But he is the embodiment of sin. He's really what, what sin means, man. To go off against the Heavenly Father. Yet, he doesn't have the ability to go off against the Heavenly Father. Because all he is, as soon as he's born, he, his ass is just... He just he, there is no get right with Esau, man. Alright? And it reads... If then I do that which is... Select it. If then I do that which I would not, I can sin unto the law that it is good. Yes, we understand, okay, by you going off, that obviously means that the word, that the word is righteous, that the law is righteous, man. But how would you know that you're going off, right, if, if, this, if this law uh, uh, is an attack, man? That's why admitting that this 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 book, man, is the, is the guide of life, okay? By admitting that, you're putting yourself in a, in a very uh, righteous situation, instead of putting yourself in a very precarious situation. Okay, it says, Now then, it is no more I that do it, but sin that dwelleth in me. Yeah, man, so you got to just, you know, you got to make an active attempt, man. <laughs> it is hard, man. It's hard. Sometimes you may see a chick, man, she got just, just, a, just a big booty, man. You know, she may be with her husband. You like, look, you know, you look, man, it's lucky how much you because you, man, you just, they more so accustomed, you know, she may have a super tight dress on. You know, she got the, them damn jeans. You know, them leggings too, man. Man, leggings get Jake in trouble, man. You, you be looking, and you got to catch yourself, man. You got to catch yourself like, damn. You know? You just pray that spirit away. You know, just look away. Try to look away, Jake. And, you know, I like to naturally assume that a woman has a man. I just like to naturally assume that. But it reads, For I know that in me, that is, in my flesh, dwelleth no good thing. So yeah, the spirit is righteous, but the flesh is, is, is wicked. The flesh is weak, man. Okay, it says, For to will is present with me, but how to perform that which is good, I find not. So it's a battle against the flesh. It's a constant battle against the flesh uh, here in America. Okay? Here it is, man. You 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 trying to fast. And you trying to fast. You, you wake up, you trying to fast. That's when you get all these offers. Hey, you want some of this food? You know, you go to work. Somebody done bought, you know. Somebody done bought your favorite snack. You know, the day you trying to fast. Oh, man, it's horrible. 
And although it's not going, it's technically not going off to have that snack. But once again, everything that is lawful is not expedient. Because you may be trying to uh, have that fast, okay, to get a certain understanding point with the most high. You, you're trying to, you're trying to afflict your soul, man. Okay. Once again, there goes that. Rubber or burnt ass exhaust. I don't know what it is. It's fucking horrible. Uh, and it reads For the good that I would do, Saki. The book of Romans chapter 7, verse 19. For the good that I would, I do not. But the evil which I would not, that I do. Yeah, man. So Paul was, at, Paul was having trouble too. You gotta remember, man, the spirit was on Paul not to deal with any women. But that don't mean he probably didn't have some lusts. Shit, you know? See these women, you know, these women man, dressing all, all scantily clad, man. And I never got to do the video on the, uh, 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 the, those men of Elon, man. There was a, there was a, uh, Elonmite who, who was interviewing all these different, uh, men, all these different, uh, Elonmite men over there in, I believe, India. And they were saying, yeah, ra you know, rape is completely fine, man. They were explaining it, okay? They were going into it, okay? Which that's a whole nother lesson. But the word rape means to cease. So in the times, uh, in, the, in the biblical times, you know, you see a woman, you ask her, okay, do you have a husband? All right, no. All right, you coming with me. All right? Because obviously, you know, you, you need a husband. Okay, you take her, you pop her. All right, afterwards, that's your, that's yours. You gotta take care of her, man. You know, you gotta feed her, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta house her, you know? So that's why, you know, if you didn't see men, you didn't just see men just how, you know, just how, they're going you know, wild with it. That's not how it was, man. Yet, of course, you damn uh, devils, you like to sensationalize everything. Man. So of course, it's gonna, it's gonna come off like, Oh, you know, Jake was just out just, just ravaging every damn thing, okay? And if a woman, if you uh, ask a woman if she had a husband and she said, yeah, okay, you depart, okay? Now, if you seize her, okay, you grab her, you, you take her with you, all right? Before you go to pop her, she says, okay, I, I have a husband, I have a husband. If you pop her anyways, your ass is getting put to death, okay? And she, you know, she's cool. She called she called out. Alright, so in these times now, flash forward to 2021, with this chip being instituted, that's E trying to uh, insert himself into you. So you need to be calling out. You need to be mourning. You need to be uh, you need to have a, 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 a lamentation. You need to be screaming. Okay? Yet two-thirds of Jake is just taking it. In fact, Jake enjoy it. Okay? Jake gonna take that chip and enjoy it, man. Okay? Anyways, it reads. Be blessed, brother. Thank you. You too, man. It says, Now then, it is no more I that do it, sin that dwelleth in the house of the It says, Verse 21, I find that a law that when I would do good, evil is present with me. So hey man, man, evil is around every single corner. Man. Evil is around every single corner. So you, so you, 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 you really do have to continue to fight against evil. Continue to fight against sin, man. All right? It says, For I delight in the law of Yahweh Shemiashai after the inward man. But I see another law in my members. Woohoo! Hey man, so your, your body, your body got its own laws, it seems like, man. You man. Yeah, man, sometimes you yo yo you don't think that it's you, but it's really a demon. That'll tell you, okay, yeah, do this. Do that. You have to resist that. You have to resist those wiles, man. Alright, which let's get the definition for wiles. Intended 
can ensnare or deceive. Also a playful trick, trickery guile. So man, man, and that folly demon ties into that. You'll be, you'll, you'll hear this, man. Demon, it'll, it'll be like it's a joke. Oh yeah, oh yeah, man. She, oh man, she's thick as fuck. Here it is, here it is. She walking with her husband. You, you laughing, man. She thicker than that, you know. That's that folly demon, man. You gotta catch yourself. Okay, yeah, get, get right. It's lucky, it's lucky. It's lucky, y'all. You know, get, get right, man. You get straighten up. Just tighten up, man. All right. Anyways, it reads. But I see another law in my members, warring against the law of my mind and bringing me into captivity to the law of sin, which is in my members. Yeah, man. And your members, you know, your members is your arms. You know, it's it's your, it's your private areas, your legs. You know, because remember when you sin, when you going off, it takes everything. It takes your it takes your hand to open up the door. It takes your foot to walk through the damn door. You know. You know, it, it takes your lips to hit that blunt, you know? I mean, come on, man. Come on, that's why ultimately, man, it's, it's the sin. It's the sin of this place. It, 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 it attaches to you, man. And you, you be want, you be want to, you be wanting to be like uh, Cuba Gooding Jr. during Boys in the Hood. You be wanting to swing, man. You be wanting to swing at this flesh. Okay? That's why it says it. Warring. Warring against the law of my mind. War is, war is horrible. Alright? Now we can just imagine through the spirit. But to see a man, to see a man's uh, uh, life force leave him, man, and to go up into the spiritual, into the spiritual world, that's some scary shit right there. Alright? See men get their head blown off. Arms, limbs blown off. Bodies getting dragged through the mud, man. That's a hor that's a horrible experience. Okay? So we are warring against the law of our minds, man. That's something we have to continue. We have to, man. War is continuous. You can't stop the war till it's finished. Now you may have time to peace, yet the war is still taking place. You may have a, you may have a ceasefire. Even in the times of a ceasefire, you're still in war. All right? It's just not. It's just not that that act of war, but you're still in war. Like you got the Cold War. That's a war. That's a war where it wasn't really. Well, it, it isn't uh, necessarily fought with weapons. It's fought with the with, uh, 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 mind, okay? We are, going, we are dealing with the spiritual cold war, all right? And it says, a wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me from the body of this death? Yeah, man. So only Yahweh Shai can deliver us from this body. I fucking hate this body. This, this man, this, this body, this body don't do right. Wake up, back hurt, shit. Head hurt, you know. You know, I got I got uh, uh, in a car accident some years ago. You know, not not a car accident. I was um I was riding one of them uh, 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 mopeds, man. Okay. And at the time, you know, I don't I don't know if uh, I I don't know if I knew that I was an Israelite. I don't I don't think I don't think I did. I, I, I don't believe so. No. No, I, I don't believe so. Um, this is before I came into the truth. I was riding the moped. I was going from uh, uh, one job uh, to the next job. That was the first time I ever had two jobs. And, uh, you know, in my head, I'm thinking, yeah, you know, I'm about to save up. You know, uh, I, at the time, you know, uh, the woman that I was with, I was like, yeah, man, now I can save up. You know, me and her can go do all these things, you know, you have a lot of uh, aspirations, especially like in your youth, you know, straight out of uh, high school, you know, while you're in high school, and, uh, you know, upon getting in that um, car accident, a uh, uh, Edomite uh, uh, ran me off the road, Now you know, it was, it was partially my fault, you know, but it wasn't necessarily my fault, really, you know, it was my fault for being out there. You know, but at the time, man, uh, I think I was on my way to like go buy some weed or something like that. You know, I was, I was trying to go buy some weed in between going to my next job. 
when you think back to that, like, hey, you know, he's being wicked. So now you still dealing with that, you know what I mean? You got you got uh, uh, screws, got screws in your in your ankle, you know what I mean? I still got those. I still have the, uh, the screws in my ankle. Uh, 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 what's it called? Uh, a plate in my ankle uh, that is uh, uh, there to stabilize it. You understand? So that's that's something that you got to deal with. That's part of the flesh. And although it, it there's sometimes why I don't I don't notice, you know. But there are other times, man, where you you can you know you can feel it. You know, it's, it's Satan, Satan will agitate that. You know. So after that. Because at the time, this is before I came into the truth. So I wasn't asking God, why, you know, why, why. I get, no, I was just like, damn, you know, I'm fucked up. But the first thing I wanted to do is just go and, and get a job, man. You know, you don't really consider, you know, you don't really consider the things that uh, take place in your life until after you come into the truth. You know? Uh, and the woman that I was with at the time, you know, I told her uh, later on, like a year later, you know, I, I think, you know, that, that the Lord did, did that to me on purpose, man. And, and, and she looked at me like, 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 like he wouldn't do that. You know what I mean? You know, and she came from a family of uh, Jehovah's Witnesses. You know, so, you know how that is. You know, Jake, Jake, Jake loved Jehovah's Witness. And, and basically everything outside of Yahweh, she now shy, man. You know, uh, and me not being with her anymore. It makes you realize that, hey, man, it, it's a struggle. It's a struggle for Jacob to come into who he is, you know what I mean? And that you have to go through certain things. There are certain things that, you know, you go through, and it, it strengthens you, you know? Certain brothers, you know, your woman leaves you, takes your kids, you know, and all sorts of things, man. Family cursing your name out. Hey, my, my relationship with my family is shit. You know, I, I try to, you know, I try to be respectful and key, you know, and, and, and you know, be respectful and, and just try to keep the peace. But I, I know that, that they don't deal with me like that, and that's okay, you know. Certain people you used to be uh, real cool with, or whether that's family, quote unquote, friends, uh, family friends, and certain things, you know, you come around and you know they may smile in your face, but as soon as you leave, hey, I heard, I heard he does this and he does that, you know? But, you know, it, we understand that Yahweh Shemel Shai is the power that caused uh, all this to take place, for all this to happen, man. We truly do believe that Yahweh Shemel Shai set us in the position in which we could we could teach, in which we could understand that, that, that the things that have happened to us is, is due to the Heavenly Father, man, and us coming into this understanding is due to the Heavenly Father. You know, and all the praise, honor, and glory goes to you. How about Shimei Al Shabbat Shimei for that? All right. So I'm going to go into the book of Deuteronomy. In the spirit, I'm going to end the video. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 33 and verse 1. It says, And this is the blessing wherewith Moses, the man of Yahweh, blessed the children of Israel before his death. And he said, The Lord came from Sinai and rose up from Seir unto them. He shined forth from Mount Paran, and he came with, with ten thousands of saints. From his right hand with a fiery law for them. Yeah, he loved the people. All his saints are in thy hand. And they sat down at thy feet, every one shall receive of thy words. Moses commanded us a law, even the inheritance of the congregation of Jacob, whose name was changed to Israel. Okay. And he was king in Jeshurun, when the heads of the people and the tribes of Israel were gathered together. Let Reuben live and not die, and let not his men be few. 
And this is the blessing of Judah. And he said, Hear, Lord, the voice of Judah, bring him unto his people. Let his hands be sufficient for him, and be thou in help for him from his enemies. So, you know, Moses, Moses was giving uh, uh, blessings to the children of Israel. speaking through Moses to speak to the children. Yeah. And of Levi he said, Let thy uh, thummim and thy urim be with thy holy one, whom thou didst prove at Massa, and with whom thou didst strive at the waters of the river. Who said unto his father and to his mother, I have not seen him, neither did he acknowledge his brother, nor do his own children, for they have observed thy word and kept thy covenant. They shall teach Jacob thy judgments, and Israel thy law. They shall put incense before thee, and hold burnt sacrifices upon thine altar. Bless, Lord, his substance, and accept the work of his hands. Smite through the loins of them that rise against him. And of them that hate him, they rise not again. Alright? It says, And of Benjamin, he said, The beloved of the Lord shall dwell in safety by him, and the Lord shall cover him all the day long, and he shall dwell between his shoulders. Alright? What's in between your shoulders? Your mind. Okay? And of Joseph, he said, Blessed of the Lord be his land for the precious things of heaven, for the dew and for the deep that couches beneath, and for the precious fruits brought forth by the sun, and for the precious things put forth by the moon. Yeah, man. Which is knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, but that also goes into the men, you know? It says, for the precious things of the earth and fullness thereof, and for the goodwill of him that dwelt in the bush, let the blessed let the blessing come upon the head of Joseph and upon the head of Slaki and upon the top of Slaki. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 33 and verse 16. And for the precious things for the earth and fullness thereof, and for the goodwill of him that dwelt in the bush, which uh, which uh, is Yahushai, right? Let the blessing come upon the head of Joseph and upon the top of the head of him that was separated from his brethren. And his glory is like the firstling of his bullock, and his horns are like the horns of unicorns. With them, he shall push the people together to the ends of the earth, right? Which, you know, once again, it goes into the internet, man. Right, his glory ultimately is his, is his elect men. Okay? He says, with them, he shall push the people together to the ends of the earth. And they are the ten thousands of Ephraim, and they are the thousands of Manasseh. And of Zebulon, he said, Rejoice, Zebulon, in thy going out, and Issachar, in thy tents. They shall call the people unto the mountain. They shall offer sacrifices of righteousness, for they shall suck the abundance of the seas, and of, tre and of treasures hid in the sand. The treasures that are hid in the sand, man, that's Israel, okay? as the sand of the sea, okay? It says, uh, for they shall suck the abundance of the sea. So we are going to have, if we are going to have these nations, man. These nations are going to be up under us, okay? Uh, and it reads, And of Gad, he said, Blessed be he that enlargeth Gad. He dwelleth as a lion and teareth the arm with the crown of the head. And he, uh, and he provideth, hey man, hey, and that arm, you got a right arm and you got a left arm, man. All right? Hey, hey, God was tearing into them damn Edomites. He says that he provided the first part for himself because there in a portion of the lawgiver was he seated. And he came with the heads of the people. He executed the justice of the Lord and his judgments with Israel. And of Dan, he said, Dan is a lion's world. He shall leap from Rashad. And of Naphtali, he said, O oh, Naphtali, be satisfied with favor and full with the blessing of the Lord. Possess thou the west and the south. And of Asher, he said, 
that I should be blessed with children. Let him be acceptable to his brethren. Let him dip his foot in oil. Thy shoes shall be iron and brass. And in thy days, so shall thy strength be. Yeah, man. Yeah, man, so that's our strength. We're coming strong. Man. There is none like unto the power of Jeshua, who rideth upon the heaven and thy help in his excellency on the sky. Yeah, man. Which goes into them chariots. Okay. The eternal Yahweh Ba'ashim Ya'asha Ba'ashim Ha'arakakwadash is thy refuge, right, which is that strong tower, you know. And underneath are the everlasting arms. And he shall thrust out the enemy from before thee, and shall say, destroy them. Israel then shall dwell in safety alone, right? Israel is going to dwell in safety alone. That's why we are holy, okay? We are, we are to be separate, man. We're not, we're not to be amongst these other nations. We're not supposed to be around these damn people, man. Okay? Yet, we, hey, yet, we're, yet we're subject to being around these people. Okay? And it rules, uh, it reads. <laughs> As, I was just thinking about that. I was just thinking about Jake Rule. That's the spirit. All right? And it says, Israel then shall dwell in safety alone. The fountain of Jacob shall be upon the land of corn and wine. Also his heavens shall drop down you. Right? But you know, this understanding is blessings. Right? Blessings upon blessings. Okay? And it reads, Happy art thou, O Israel, who is like unto thee, O people saved by the Lord, the shield of thy help, and who is the sword of thy excellency? And thy enemies shall be found liars unto thee. Yeah, so our enemies are found as liars, you damn devils. All right, and you and you other nations, okay? And two thirds in uh, and two thirds of Israel, you'll be found as liars, man. It says, and thou shalt tread upon their high places. So, so yeah, your high your high places, man. We gonna tread upon this place, man. We gonna tread upon all, all, all this place. We gonna tread on it. Gonna stomp upon it. All right. Hey, hey. The spirit of the Lord may may not only he may put the spirit on us, the spiritual power to tear through all these people. You know, he may put uh, he, he may put he may put us into the missiles, man. I'd love that. I would love that. I would love to be inside of those missiles through the spirit, tearing you damn people up, man. I'd love that, man. Hey, Barakati, how about Shemel Shai? May the Lord do that, you know. He let, okay, he let us get it in. You know, he gives us a spiritual sword. He gives us a, a spiritual power. Then, simultaneously, you know, he, he puts us into the missiles, man. Right? His spirit, the spirit of Yahweh is going to be inside those missiles, man. That is that, that, is that army. That, tens of thousands of thousands, man. Right? And it reads, um, Uh, this is the uh, last chapter, chapter 34 and verse uh, 1. Let's lock it. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 34 and verse 1. It says, And Moses went up from the plains of Moab unto the mountain of Nebo, to the top of Pisgah, that is over against Jericho. And the Lord showed him all the land of Gilead unto Dan, and all Naphtali, and the land of Ephraim, and Manasseh, and all the land of Judah, Walk yet unto the utmost sea and the south, the plain of the valley of Jericho, the city of palm trees and the Zawar. The Lord, Yahweh Shemeshai, said unto him, This is the land which I swear unto Abraham, unto Isaac, and unto Jacob, saying, I will give it unto thy seed. I have caused thee to see it with thine eyes. Thou shalt not go over thither. So, you know, Moses, Moses didn't make it to the promised land. He saw it, he saw it from a distance, but he didn't make it to the promised land, you know? Yet, he's going to make it by being uh, uh, one of these men today, you know? And that's beautiful. That almost brings a tear to your eye that, you know, Moses, you know, that, 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 that great man, you know, our forefather Moses, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't get to see what happened, man. 
okay? He did a great, he did a great work, man. You know, in Baruch the Hall, Baruch the Hall, by Shemir Hashai for that, you know? It says, So Moses, the servant of the Lord, died there in the land of Moab, according to the word of the Lord. And he buried him in a valley in the land of Moab, over against Beth uh, Peor. And no man knoweth of his scepter unto this day. And Moses was a hundred and twenty years old when he died. His eye was not dim, nor his natural force faded. Right? It says his eye was not dim, nor his natural force abated. Yeah, so it wasn't like he died of, 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 of old age. You know what I mean? Let me get the definition. Let me get the definition for abated. To, to to decrease in amount, number, or degree. Yeah. So ultimately, he was uh, uh, he was uh, put into another body. You know, after the third or fourth generation. You know, but that same the same spirit of Moses is still here, man. The body died. Okay, but the spirit is still here. The book of the Alashvash. It says. I was not damned, nor his natural force abated. And the children of Israel wept for Moses in the plains of Moab. Thirty days. So the days of weeping and, uh, and mourning for Moses were ended. Uh, which was a complete amount of days, you know. And, uh, and Joshua, the son of Nun, was full of the spirit of wisdom. And Moses had laid his hands upon him. Yes, so he, he was taught by Moses. It says, there, uh, and there arose not slack. Let me read that again. It says, And Joshua, the son of Nun, was full of the spirit of wisdom. For Moses had laid his hands upon him. And the children of Israel hearkened unto him, and did as the Lord commanded Moses. Yeah, man. So Joshua came in the stand of Moses. He was set, he was set up. Um, he was set up in, 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 in the stand. You always had men that when a, when a very prominent man of Israel perished or passed away or, or, or left, you always had somebody who came uh, as their uh, replacement, so to speak, to continue to teach other uh, words, man. That's how you know that there's still the men of the Lord here today because they're still teaching. It's not like, okay, uh, uh, Moses, Moses died, Amos died, Hosea died, a uh, Amos died, Obadiah died. So that's it. No, man, these, these men came back, okay? And it says, And the children of Israel hearkened unto him, and did as the Lord commanded Moses. And there arose not a prophet since in Israel like unto Moses, whom the Lord knew face to face. And all the signs and the wonders which the Lord sent him to do in the land of Egypt to Pharaoh, okay? So Yahweh Shemayashai was working directly with Moses, okay, to prove Pharaoh wrong, okay, turning the staff into a snake and having that snake eat, eat the magi snakes. You know what I mean? Hey, having the the, the Red Sea uh, split in two, having the children of Israel go through the wilderness, for, you know, for forty years, all these different things, man. Right, Yahweh Shemayashai set up Moses man, to do those things, and Moses is is a uh, um, Moses really is a, is a is symbolic of the elect. Now he is a man that actually lived. He is a physical flesh man that lived, and he is a he is a physical embodiment of the elect because he he never gave up all the way up until the end. Okay, it says all the signs and and the wonders which the Lord sent him to do in the land of Egypt to Pharaoh and to all his servants and to all his land and in all that mighty hand and in all the great terror which Moses showed in the sight of all Israel. So he, he showed that he showed how terrible Yahweh Shemayashai is. Our Lord is a terrible power, man. Okay? This is not, this is not a, a power to be uh, reckoned with. This, this is the power that flooded the entire earth. 
So you ultimately, you have to take heed to these words, man. Take heed to the words of Yahweh Hashem Yahashai. Take heed to the, to the words that the men are speaking, man. Starting off with the elder apostles of the great millstone, all the way down to the least of men, you know? Me being the least of men. I'm a young man. Nobody wants to listen to a young man, all right? Especially a young man with the words of Yahweh Hashem You know, but ultimately, hey, Moses was young. You know, when he was, when he was, um, he had the spirit put on him to, 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 to go and prophesy to the children of Israel. Man. He was a young man. Okay, and all the way up until he was an old man. What's that? I can look at this one? Uh, sorry, yeah, sorry. You, can, uh, you can look up uh, Great Millstone. Just type in Great Millstone on YouTube. M I L E S T O N E? G R E A T M I L L S T O N E. Millstone. Millstone. Great Millstone. Is this live? Yes, it is. All right, sorry. Hey, no, you're, you're good, man. All right. But you have to have that perseverance. Moses had an ultimate perseverance, man. Okay? And, and ultimately, it took it took him day in and day out dealing with his people, man. There were certain times he didn't there were certain times he didn't want to read. There were certain times he didn't want to prophesy. There were certain times he didn't want to um, you know, perform, but the Lord put the spirit on him to perform. There's certain times where men don't wanna uh, we don't wanna, you know, read, man. You know, you might have a bad day, certain bad things happen to you. You know, you don't wanna you don't want to do anything, okay? And hey, man, and, 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 and that's the spirit power of Yahweh Hashem Shai. The spirit power of Yahweh Hashem Shai will have you to bring out the word. Will have you to go into certain lessons. Well, you know, you may have a certain lesson on a chip. You start the broadcast off. You doing the, the, the um, you doing a, a transmission on the chip. All of a sudden, you start to go into um, you know, Israel going off. That's all. It's all determined by the Heavenly Father, man. Okay, and that's something that you got you got to continue to understand, man. Is that Mo Moses did a Moses did a great work. You know, that's why it says in the scripture, you know, that there was none like him. Now, of course, there were great, there were great men. You know, there were very great men. You know, but him doing that work, man, that him ultimately bringing us up out of that situation and teaching us. See, how about Shemel Shai was dealing with Moses. He was dealing with Aaron. You know, he was dealing with Caleb. Joshua, you know, but he wasn't sitting here being direct with all of the children of Israel. Those those people had to be taught, man. I'm gonna just try to show about where he was. right here this is this is the land of Moab so that's that's where he um that's where he passed away so in a mountain in that region he looked he looked uh, the, the Lord put the spirit on him to look over here to look over in this land which is the land okay that we are going to have through inheritance man Lord's will we're of that number man and that's something, that's something very important to understand, man, is that the, prof, the prophecies are speaking to the point where they're basically, if this, if this was a house, okay, if, if uh, the kingdom of heaven was a house, we, we, are already, we, are, we already went to the open house. We are, we are in a time in which we're, we're under contract, okay, and now the deal is about to be closed, okay? We're basically at the point where the, the, deal, the deal is basically closed, and now, okay, we're, we're, we're about to enter into that house. We're about to enter into that rest, man. All right, for brothers going from house to house, brothers, certain brothers homeless, certain brothers going through certain things, man, keep keep your head up, man. And understand that Moses, Moses had the same issues. You know, Moses had the same issues, man. Mo, Moses didn't even like his people most of the time. He said that he was grieved, okay? He was grieved with his people. You know, he wanted, he wanted to put hands on his people, man. Because even amongst the, uh, the elect, 
you know, you, you had the two thirds that was amongst those people that were in the wilderness for 40 years. Imagine being with a two thirds nigga for, for 40 years, man, in the wilderness. That's gonna piss you off. All right, so understand that, man. Continue to push forward. Continue to understand that at one point, man, you you were that ignorant too, man. That's why it's, it's up it's up to us, man, to continue to, to teach the one thirds, man. The one thirds that may have uh, uh, may may you know maybe on the fence, you know, and the one thirds that hasn't been uh, awakened yet, you know. That's our job to continue to wake up the hopeful elective Israel, man. All right, that's our job. And ultimately, how about Shemia Shai is doing that? We are, we are, um, uh, uh, we are uh, uh, interns, man. We are, in, we are interns for this for this business. And the business is the pushing of the words of how about Shemia Shai. So I hit the, uh, all the points that I need to uh, through the spirit. You know, once again, this video is a bit long. You know, but sometimes I'm a little bit long-winded. The spirit just had that uh, uh, to be the case, man. Okay. So hey, uh, you know. You know, it's, it's beautiful, it's beautiful, it's an, it's an honor to bring this word out, man. And may the Heavenly Father continue to work with you brothers, man. Brock call back to you brothers, man. Alright? Shabai, Yasha Allah, Aladai Hawa, Yahawa, Khan, man. Here, O Israel, our power is one. He is gathering us together. He has made it so that we, we, man, we are doing great works. We're doing great things, man. All the praise, honor, and glory goes to Yahweh by Shabai. Alright? How about Shimmy Al Shah, by Shimmy Kakadash, Shalak Rayam, Babakasha, 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 Bashapatium, a warrior, call, a bod, a shashua, wa babal, a bod, a shashua, wa a bod, babal, okay? The Heavenly Father continue to tear this damn place up, man. All right? Brock call Akim to you, brothers, once again, man. All right? Okay, hey, all the praise on their glory goes unto Yahweh. Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Akakwadash. Double honors to the Apostle Elders of the Great Millstone, who rule well and teach well. And honors to you brothers who are bringing out this word, in sincerity and in faith, risking your lives and your freedom to do so, man. All right, Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai is doing marvelous wonders here uh, and abroad, man, by putting the spirit on on his men uh, uh, to prophesy, follow follow him whithersoever he goeth through his son, uh, and ultimately to be delivered, Lord's will. You sincere brothers were of that uh, number, man. Who was one of that number, man? Okay, and to you, uh, you men, women, and children, and y'all about Shemia you know, uh, uh, who are of the one thirds, man. May the Heavenly Father continue to, to, to work with you, you know, and to, and to guide you to where you need to be. All right? Brakthi Hawa, Brakthi Aoshai, Brakthi Hawa, Brakthi Aoshai. Call Hello, y'all about Shemia Aoshai, by Shem, Harakakwadash, Brakatham to you brothers, man. Okay, to you few sisters. Who, uh, uh, watch the videos, man. This is your brother, okay, and, and fellow servant, Jasham, all right, which means foreigner, okay, in the Hebrew. Hey, and may may, may we may we no longer be uh, a foreigner. We're we're a foreigner to these people, man. But we're not foreigners to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, and that's what matters. Lord's will, He recognizes us and He knows us. And we are rewarded in the kingdom of heaven, okay. And to, and to the next video, I say Shalom, man. Lord's will, I can go into that uh, uh, video based upon uh, those Elon, uh, those Elamites, man, if the Spirit allows. All right, Shalom.